guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a hair tutorial on how I curl my short hair. This tutorial is much different than my first curling tutorial because this is more of a loose, textured, wavy PC curl, whereas my old tutorial was a structured curl like Farrah Fawcett, swoop, swooped out curling tutorial. So if you'd like something that looks like done, undone, then you're going to enjoy this tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I got these curls, keep on watching. So I've already sprayed my hair with my heat protectant, which is the Tresemme Heat Chamber Leave-In Spray. And I've brushed through my hair. I'm using a wet brush in the color purple, because that's my favorite color. And I just brushed through my hair, making sure that I, if I didn't spray it evenly, the heat tamer or heat protectant, I brush it through to make sure that it reaches my whole head. So different from my old curling tutorial where I sectioned off the hair and I did different layers, I do my hair differently this time. That was a more structured like curl, loose, voluminous wave. Now I just like like really an un, a done undone look. And if you know what that means, I mean like it looks like I curled it, but it looks like I slept on it. The ends aren't perfect. It's just, I feel like that's a more uh, appropriate look for shorter hair. You'll see what I mean once it's done. So I like to go from the front back and since my bottom layers are shorter than the front layers, I tend to leave those out and towards the end I'll see if I want to curl them or not. I have my curling iron which is the Rust Heat Freak 1 inch curling iron and I also have my flat iron on which is the Bioionic One Pass. You'll see it's optional to have this out and heat it up. I'll show you uh, what I mean by that, but taking your curling iron and your one to one and a half inch section, go down, curl. And unlike my old video where I make, told you to make sure you got the ends, don't grab the ends. Stop right before you reach the ends. Kind of hold it, let it cool down a little bit. Kind of pull down. See, I, I like a straighter end. So this is the optional part. You can take your flat iron, pull down, and flat iron the end. So you get Something that looks like that. Grabbing another piece. Towards the bottom. Curl, pump and curl, like my old video. Don't grab the ends. Leave it on for a second. Let go. Put it in your hand. Let it cool down a little bit. Careful, it's really hot, so. Move it around your hand. I pull down on the ends, kind of loosen up, loosen it up a little bit. And again, I want it straighter at the ends. So I pull down and pass a flat iron on the ends. So I did the first layer and I go and I check for pieces that are really visible. So like this piece right here. So I will curl this again, same thing, curl midway, pump and turn, and then don't catch the ends. Let go, pull it down a little bit. If you like how straight the bottom is, that one is good for me. So I'm not gonna pass the flat iron. And then, here's another piece. So this routine is much quicker and easier because I'm not being careful and I, I don't need it to be perfect. I'm not curling every single piece of my hair. 
because you can get away with hiding some pieces underneath the top layer, you don't have to take as much time curling everything. So you see like that, I like the end, so I'm not going to curl that. And then you can see a little bit pops up here. So I'm gonna do this piece right here. In the bottom layer of the hair, you can do bigger sections because you don't need it to be as uniform. Well, this whole look doesn't have to be uniform, but you just want to give the bottom layer like a little bit of a curl so that it blends in a little bit better with everything. And then just like run your fingers through its cool down like this the first few pieces that we curled and that's this side I'm gonna go and finish off this side and I'll be right back so now both sides are curled and I went ahead and I sprayed a little bit of my Orbe dry texturizing spray on this side so what I did was just I grabbed the top section pulled it up and just spray it a little bit, give it a second. This adds a lot of volume and texture to the hair. I do have second day hair, so it is better to curl on second day hair, but I just need a little bit more volume because the top is a little flat. So you just shake it with your fingers and then just run your fingers through the ends and make it as choppy and just like messy as you want. And I just like to pull out the front pieces so it's not like, you know, my typical flat fair faucet like swooped out curls. I like it to be more PC, more textured and like beachy kind of. If you wanna try out any Orbe products, you can go and you can purchase these online. I believe you can purchase it on Amazon. You can also purchase it at the house. I do get 20% off for you guys. And yeah, I think you can find it on their website as well and check out any local hair salons that might be selling it. But I do know that the house sells it, so that's where I get mine. So that's it guys, I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the tutorial and you're gonna try it out and you're gonna post a picture on Instagram, make sure to tag me or hashtag beauty a la carte and I will look for that. Um, also make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. And that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Make it as how I curl my short hair. They're so different from my... No, mm -mm, mm -mm. no don't like that. Okay, you gotta be very quiet. Be very quiet. Mute yourself, mute yourself. Huh? Why? Because I'm recording. I'll watch you for a few minutes. Oh, well, I'll call you after my tutorial. I'll call you after my tutorial. No, I'll be surprised for a few minutes and then I'll hang out. Okay. A curling, no. Hmm. A hair tutorial. Today's going to be, today's video is going to be a hair tutorial.